Okay, this is a <coughs> screencast to help you with EndNote preparation. EndNote is a great software package for references and storing your PDFs in a very searchable format. And I've provided you with a copy. Uh, Raymond has successfully installed it if you want to speak with him. There are a couple of notes. You should not need a key to install it as it's a licensed copy to Northwestern University, which you can all pretend like you go to, even though you really actually do go to Northwestern. Good job, guys, for, for getting into that school. Now, EndNote, which I've opened up here, but I'll open it up. EndNote X7, which is what we're using, is a citation and reference management software. And so I've got it here, and uh, nothing pops up because I've actually been running it. But if we wanted to write a document, so if I were to go Word, I wanted to write a document, and science is easy. Now after you do the installation, you'll actually find that there's a new EndNote tools up here. So you can do that, and I'll get to that in just a second. So science is easy. All right, so you typed out some outrageous claim, and you now need to reference it. So we're going to go look for a reference that says science is easy. And um, we can even go and look, oops, that's the wrong button. Go and look in Google Scholar for, um, I don't know, let's say virus nanoparticles. Um, biodistribution, toxicity, pathology, ah, cowpea, yeah, interesting, all right. So we'll look at this. Now you'll notice a couple of things. First of all, when you go to like a random website, normally you just download the PDF. All right, and then that opens up a PDF, and you can like literally download it. All right, and here's that PDF that I just downloaded. One thing you may have also noticed is that there's a thing up here usually for downloading the citation. There's an export. You click that, and you export file in the RIS format for EndNote. You click that, it will also download something, and it'll look like this. All right, this makes life pretty easily. So here is how I'm going to insert or stick in uh, this reference to EndNote. So I go back to my EndNote, and the first thing we need to do for my new document is create a new library. So we're going to create a new library on my desktop, and this is screencast or whatever you want to call your new library and save. All right, and so we've got a new library, and there's nothing in it. So what you do is you take that reference you just downloaded and drag it in, drag it in, drag it in, okay, double click it, okay, so you double click it, and there you go. You see all the author, blah, 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 all that stuff is now listed. You can change the way it's formatted, so this is the ACS style, annotation, APA6, we're going to stick with ACS. Now. Um, one thing to keep in mind is the ACS requires journal abbreviations and you have to actually install the correct journal abbreviations and to do that you can do this on your own but before you give me anything you have to type journal abbreviations endnote and you go to this I think it's a, a now it's UC Davis University of Western, I thought it was a Canadian, or maybe it's Australian. Um, but you go to one of these guys, and you can actually get these uh, journal abbreviations and download them. And then I think there's even, yeah, there's instructions on how to do this here. All right. So you would save this file. I'll uh, save as. And you would actually save it as a text. Oh, that's not how you do it. File. Eh. You have to save it all. In any regard, you just go and do that and follow the instructions. You're all smart people. You can do that on your own. <coughs> and then follow the instructions that show you how to insert journal abbreviations. But you do need to do that before that works. Another interesting point is that you can also store the PDF. Um, in this. So if you want to take the original PDF that goes with this reference, you just drag and drop it. And now you've got the PDF actually stored here as well. So when you want to go and search for a reference, 
that's you know that's involved in what you're doing you can now uh, go and you can read that reference uh, open the reference if you want and play with some of these buttons uh oh why is that spinning ah nah don't worry about it all right I'll just drop the reference back in there we go all right so now um, I've got a reference in here so what I want to do is I want to put it in my word document all right I've already got my claim science is easy and I am good at it all right and I want to put the reference right here where my cursor is so I go up to tools endnote 7 insert citations and you know um, what was that we, this is pretty straightforward because there's only one citation here and it's from you can pretty much search S-I-N-G-H that guy's name and you know it's it's like you've only got one reference so only things are going to pop up so you've got that in there and boom it automatically adds it and if you want to put something else in here it's even easier because you can then just put something so let me give you an example with a library that has a ton of references so this is a library that's a fake one open recent this is for the ACSPRF grant that I submitted I have not heard back and you can see there's a ton of references in here all right and this one is a uh, Xiaobo's project so uh, we'll close this library out and if we want to say something moths are great but they have limitations and you should know about them because we are going to fix some of them oh, okay all right so now you've got a couple of claims in here moths are great but they have limitations uh, and then we're gonna go pretend like uh, we're gonna go up and find our our references insert citation um, we want to make sure we have the right library to actually um, let's make sure that we've got a right library chin okay so or if we wanted to look for something that had say the word limitations well that's not that's not a part of it so this will also search um, or we can do moff that's a ton of moff stuff and you look for it you try to find what you want I was like ah strong risk. okay we'll insert that and it added citation number two but the cool thing is if you want to go back here and insert another citation before so I need the citation for great ah there's a citation that has a rapidly growing class of versatile nanomaterials insert and boom see it already increased that to three and that is now two and you've got this nice and ordered and I've already got my journal abbreviations installed so at least for this library so as you can see it already abbreviated that and now the problem comes with sometimes it will screw up advanced material it should not say Weinheim Germany now when you're all done you do have to go back and look over this and make sure that you get rid of all these mess ups all these little cock ups because those will those will be persistent and uh, so even though this does a good job at keeping everything straight for you it doesn't it's not perfect and uh, I am told that you will get in trouble if you have problem references uh, certainly the peer review doesn't take kindly to seeing their references butchered so do go back and uh, make sure that everything is set in any regard that is it it's a very powerful program so and it's a very nice way to organize um, your PDFs this doesn't have any PDFs in it but the one that I'm working on for our current review as you can see does actually have our PDF so you keep them in order now the there's another issue so what happens if you just want to insert a reference all right and you don't want to go and you don't want to download it but you've got all the information necessary like for instance um, zero drug delivery all right so she's obviously got 
some nice references already set up here. And she may not want to go and actually re-download that whole reference. Well, if she's very confident that she's typed that correctly, then you can actually manually insert a reference by going and clicking File, and Reference, New Reference, all right? And then it opens up with this. And now you can come up here and copy all of these names and control V them. And this is a somewhat of a problem because now you've got to go J K Korsky and then get rid of that. And we're gonna go and each one of these actually now needs to be on its own line. Because each author is separated by a line and each name has to be first name and the surname need to be separated by a space and a period so it should look like that instead alright and then once that's done that's good the year is supposed to be 2011 the title of the article needs to be included journal this can be the abbreviation if you want or it can be the name of the journal. Volume. So that is going to be 133. Page number is going to be 9242 to 9245. And DOI, which you have to have. All right, and then once you've got that, you actually just uh, click the red button to get rid of it, and uh, no, not the green button, red button, and it will add it right here. All right, now that's added, and you can double check that your reference is good by looking down here, um, and it is. So, oh, uh, I screwed up a reference. So it says K. Dot Pokorsky. Pokorsky. So that needs to actually just backspace there and a space right there. All right. And hopefully that will update. Uh, or it will lock up. We'll do that too. That's weird. All right. You go back down. And then it fixed it. I don't know what that was about, but. And that fixed it. Um, so this, I need to obviously incorporate my journal abbreviations, but you know, you get the idea. Is that this is how that works? All right. So that's how you import. By e far the easiest way to do it is to manually import uh, references because you can bulk download uh, citation data for this, or you can manually type it in. Uh, but you do have to be careful; you don't mistype or screw this up. Uh, that would be bad news. Uh, of course, it's always important. I got to out a reference from 1904 in here. Obviously, I had to type that in, and there's no DOI, so and it's in German, so I have to, you know, be careful. But uh, that's how you do it. All right. So 